Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? It is Saturday, March 21st, and um, I just wanted to share with you this video. These are actually some f uh, thrifting flips that I got probably a, maybe a couple weeks ago before everybody went on lockdown due to what's going on with our country right now. And so, um, I just want to share with you what, with what I got, uh, potential profit, and um, yeah, let's just jump right in. So, um, I was at the Goodwill um, by my workplace, and I actually found these Make a Christmas Memory um, cross-stitch kit. And it's it's completely brand new. This was $2.99. Um, I just, before I started the video, I just stapled the bottom. For some reason, the bottom, like, blew out. So, I probably have to go revise my listing. But it still has the original price. As you can see right there, it says $11.99. And it's from Muscatel's. I have no idea what that is. Um, there are similar stitching kits. And the comps are anywhere... They range anywhere from like $12 to $20. I think I have this listed in the $15 range. Um, there's not one like this. Like this pattern. With these little... Um, they look like little elves. For Christmas time but um, I got this for $2.99 so I just thought that was interesting you know it just has to um, basically the the right buyer has to come along when selling these but um, so I might sit on it for a while but that's okay um, and at that same store I ended up getting let me put this back here this uh, knitting kit this was $2.99. This is brand new. And it is I Taught Myself Knitting. And the comps range, I think, anywhere between like 10 to 15. So I think I have this one priced around 15. And um, this one has like all the gadgets for somebody who wants to start off learning how to knit. But, you know, for a couple bucks, I thought that was going to be a good flip. Then I got this. Uh, this is completely sealed. This one was like two bucks. The comps weren't that great on this one. I don't have it listed yet. I think the last time they were selling for around $8.00. So I haven't listed this. Um, I'm going to list it. I just, um, I, I guess I when I seen the comps, I got a little discouraged. But pretty much that's what I bought. You know, I didn't really um, obviously research this piece that well. But it's still, you know, a couple bucks. And then um, I found this Office Depot plain paper fax cartridge. This is brand new, sealed in the box. This was also $2.99. And I have it listed, oh God, I think between $15 and $20. I, I'm, I'm not too sure. I can't remember. I listed this a couple weeks ago. And so um, it obviously somebody's going to be looking for this uh specific model i've been getting a lot of views on it no offers but you know it'll it'll sell then um over here <clears throat> okay so i have these uh, these sets these bakugan sets now a couple of videos back i showed how i bought a red one well that one sold somebody made me an offer um of like 18 19 dollars and these were $7.99 each. So I actually spent up some money on this. Because I wasn't sure how fast it was going to sell or how the market was going to be on these, 
I ended up taking that offer. But to my surprise, there's not any of these listed. Um, and so what I ended up doing was I remember that there was three left at the store. I went back the next day to see if they were still there. And I, I basically bought the last two at Goodwill and this orange one. I didn't want to spend the $8, but um, I have them listed right now for, because nobody has them. Well, I haven't looked today, but the last time I, I was looking on eBay, nobody has th uh, these particular cases. So I have them listed around $40 or best offer. And um, I know I'll get my money back and a few dollars. Hopefully they sell closer to the $40 range. If I would have held on to the last um, one without taking that first offer so rapidly, I think I got a little scared like it wasn't going to sell because I, I invested a lot already into it. Um, I probably could have made better money. But I still profited decent. And I have a lot of views on this orange one. A lot. So... With that being said, um, if they go for $30 a piece, pff, that's that's awesome. That's really good. And um, ever since we went on lockdown, I had a collection of random Tsum Tsum Series 1, 2, and I just sold within this last week five lots. And in each lot, you get five of them for $20. And so these are the remaining that I have to post. Um, I think a lot of kids right now are at home. And so maybe parents are just ordering stuff to kind of occupy their time. But these are, I, I had a total of like 35 of them, I think, at one time. And within this last week, I pretty much just sold all of them except for these and these when I originally got them they were only a dollar a piece so um, that's actually pretty good um, before I get into this uh, I also got this really cute Starbucks mug this is for me I've never seen this pattern it was brand new it had the sticker at the bottom as you can see it's like super clean on the bottom I already started using it I like these tall mugs this one was only at the Goodwill that I went to. They tend to mark their Starbucks mugs on the lower side. So I got this for $1.99. And um, I just like the... Uh, the crochet-like pattern. And it looks like a bunch of little mini um, hearts all over. So that was like a really cool find. Now... I was really ecstatic when I found this piece. This one was $5.99. And if you go back a couple videos, I just came across the butter um, dish. The same pattern. It's the quilt-like um, style, kind of like an Art Deco style milk glass. And <clears throat> I found this. And I thought, oh, isn't that great? I have I have it where I could sell it as a set, individual, um, or I might just keep it. This is like a really, really unique pattern. I've never come across it come across it. So it was six dollars. I checked for chips, everything looked good. I came home and as I opened the bag, it's broken. <laughs> I don't know how it broke. I don't know if the bag got placed down too hard. They were wrapped. But um, I could still glue it and keep it for myself. But uh, this is so heartbreaking. And the reason I say this is because the detail on the bottom of this is so fascinating. It's really, really unique. I mean, it, it's... It's such a great piece, and just to see it broken like that, I mean, it's still salv salvageable if I keep it, or I could just maybe sell the lid. I, I don't know, maybe somebody else broke their bottom. It's just so heartbreaking, you know, when that happens. But 
that's basically what happened with this piece. I'm not sure. Um, it it I know I could glue it and it'll be fine. And then, you know, like that, it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. But, uh, you know, with so much detail, this is a really beautiful piece. And I just was so sad that it cracked. Anyways, um, this is a very short haul of the stuff that I got. Um, well, I already had this, but like this other stuff that I got to flip. Um, I'm probably going to be diving more into, um, since everybody's on lockdown, um, more into like the jewelry, um, some of the personal collection that I have of like the vintage antique brooches and I also have some some brooches um, jewelry pieces coming in the mail that I won um, on bid on eBay you know some really really great pieces so um, that's probably what I'm just going to be sharing um, all the thrift stores are closed around here um, and yeah, you know, just like everybody right now, we're just taking each day as it comes. And But if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you for, um, if you've subscribed, I really, really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed and you like the content, please subscribe. It's free. It's free. It doesn't cost. It just takes a second. Um, and uh, yeah comment share like and i'll see you guys in the next video this is soho california vintage signing off